और मेरे में भी कुछ शायद जाग गया है उम्र भर गालिब यही भूल करता रहा धूल चेहरे पे थी आईना साफ करता रहा ये मेरा है ये आई एम दी ऑथर डोंट बोदर और एक बात जो मैंने कही और ऑथेंटिकेशन के लिए क्यों कही ये संस्कृति नहीं हो सकती कि न खाता न बही मैं कहूं सो सही ये नहीं हो सकता श्री जवार सरकार मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी द ऑनर ऑफ स्पीकिंग ऑन द प्रेसिडेंट्स एड्रेस द प्रेसिडेंट्स एड्रेस इज वोटेड ऑन वन कंसेप्ट ऑफ अमृत काल वी हैव नोटिस तो आई वुड लाइक टू नो फ्रॉम यू सर एंड फ्रॉम आर अदर फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज दिस अमृत काल अमृत काल है क्या हैव वी क्रॉस्ड अच्छे दिन हैव वी क्रॉस्ड अच्छे दिन और आर वी स्टिल टू रीच अच्छे दिन year of the year sir <coughs> these terms are invented these terms are invented they are like amrit kal azadi ka mahotsav amrit mahotsav ye azadi ke amrit mahotsav par mujhe do shabd kehna hai ki we were very glad to see those Get whose time. genetic ancestors whose political ancestors did not take part in the azadi freedom struggle were celebrating were condoled please were, please uh, were making please the house in order please sir please ek apni ha mr nasir hussain please go back to your seat please house ko be in order rakhe bol thank you sir as i was saying azadi ka amrit mahotsav became a celebration for the atonement of those who had not participated in india's freedom struggle yes. those who had not <laughs> if you want i can produce those documents without <laughs> talking of the other one acche din all please bhai saab please ek manni sanskar main aagrah karta hu aap se manni please 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 sir i am very kripya कृपया सदन में शांति बना रखे माननीय सदस्य का प्लीज माननीय जयराम रमेश जी प्लीज प्लीज सर आई होप दिस टाइम इज नॉट डिडक्टेड फॉर माय वेरी लिमिटेड अकाउंट नाउ वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट अच्छे दिन अमृत काल वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव दीज टर्म्स आर इन्वेंटेड एवरी नाउ एंड देन टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट अटेंशन एज आई सेट आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव पर So it was celebration, was an atonement by those who did not take part in the national freedom struggle. आगे बढ़िए, अच्छे दिन, sir. I was most expectant, like many other Indians, to 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 be part of the Independence Day of last year, 2022, because several promises were made that would happen by Independence Day, 2022. The first promise was. farm income will be doubled by 2022 august has it happened i leave it to the wisdom of the house <laughs> there was another promise that was repeated and repeated over the social media and the it cell of a particular party that we are heading to a 5 trillion dollar economy and that will be complete by 15th august 2022 sir we were nowhere near the 5 trillion dollar economy we were promised that we will ride the bullet train on 15th august 2022 sir only 25% of the work is complete we were told that there will be electricity in every house on a 24 into 7 basis by or by the 20 by the 15th of august 2022 whether it has happened or not i leave it to the house we were promised that indian astronauts will be up there in space by that date i started looking up but i couldn't find any indian astronaut i don't know whether these are promises whether these are acche din whether these are part of amrit somebody called them from their party called them jumla now this biggest jumla was as you know that 15 lakhs in everybody's pocket that is nowhere in the scene nowhere has it happened <laughs> but the movie that was opposed pathan that represents the essence of plurality 
that essence that represents the essence of our oneness has won through has has secured uh, uh, secured record uh, earnings. Maybe the 15 lakhs will come from there. Sir, we believe yes, in multiculturalism. We believe in multi-regionalism, looking at the smallest regions. Sir, one appeal that I make on behalf, on behalf of my party and on behalf of the neglected people of Meghalaya is that Gari and, Garo and Khasi, Garo and Khasi be placed in the eighth schedule of the Constitution. An official request has been made, I repeat it. Now, coming back to the President's address, I repeat, I draw sustenance from Paras 9, 10, 13, where the discussion has been centered on corruption. As you can guess, the most live issue of corruption now is about a particular conglomerate. Is about a particular conglomerate. Now, enough has been spoken about that uh, issue, but the only thing that I would like to highlight is the role of the regulatory authorities. Sir, I have observed the regulatory authorities and the civil service. The way the regulatory authorities collapsed in the face of hard facts when Adani Green Energy's share value shot up by 5,500% in two years, two to three, 2.5 years, no regulator, SEBI, did look the other way around. At every point of time, the Reserve Bank has failed us. At every point of time during this economic uh, scam, the uh, DRI has failed us. Of course, DRI did take some steps to be correct, but certainly not consummate with the steps that should have been taken. The most uh, glaring example of missing an action was the Enforcement Directorate and the PMLA. They were so busy raiding the opposition that they didn't find time to look at one of the biggest scams in the history of India. Uh, we, our party has supported the, uh, the claim to send this to a JPC. There is no point in discussing it in the House, but we would go one step higher, sir, and we should, play, we should place forward a demand for a Supreme Court monitored inquiry. A Supreme Court monitored inquiry, time bound, will be perhaps even a stronger way of ensuring that we are taken seriously. The whole house is taken seriously. Sir, this report mentions about poverty. But poverty, what poverty are you talking about? I mean, I'm, I'm unable to understand. Because the entire basis is a report that the Consumer Expenditure Survey that was done last in 2011-12, before this government came, 11, 30, 11 years ago. In the last 11 years, or rather nine years of this government, they did not undertake any consumer expenditure survey. One report that came out in 1718, they took it off the website because it showed an uncharitable picture of this government. We repeat that the, the final consumer expenditure survey that is finally happening should be put out in the public domain as soon as possible so we know whether India's poor constitute 8 crores or more. Sir, the Prime Minister and others have said with a lot of pride that we have been giving free food to 81 crores. 81 crores Hindustanis are lining up for free food grades and nobody can remove it now. Does it mean that 81 crores out of 240 crores are poor? You revise your lines of poverty. You revise your norms of poverty. But come forward with facts. Come forward with facts. And uh, in tackling poverty, as everyone knows, it's popular schemes like Narega and others that help. But Narega has been slashed from 111 crores to 89 crores this year, last year, and to 60 crores. And out of this, West Bengal has been selected out maliciously for complete shame, stoppage shame, of shame, Narega. Shame, shame, shame. You should come to Bengal to see how, how welfare schemes are conducted. Without the success of such schemes, we could not have resisted the massive onslaught that was, cast, that was thrown at us in 2021. With all the power of state and all the wealth that was possible, the people of Bengal rejected it with a 48% majority. 
because of welfare schemes. Do take the, do take the trouble to come to Bengal for, for learning how to conduct welfare schemes. So one point I would like to draw the attention of my friends on both sides, that is very soon we'll move to Parliament House, a new Parliament building. Not one minute's discussion has been held with the users of Parliament. I have some insight because for the last one and a half years I have been pursuing it with the minister concerned who gives minister type answers. Not one consultation has been held. We do not know what facilities are there. I inquired, they said, no, we don't have state bank. Aapko state bank ya banking ke liye bar bar whose building says building, whose building says building karna hai. This space has been utilized for grand halls far beyond our requirement in the near future. And I see, uh, see a plan behind these large halls. And you know that, sir. As it is, 50% of the members are outside in the lobby and other doing their other important thing. So when the camera pans at this house, it looks half empty as it is even now. But if the hall is made one and a half times more, the TV camera will show that the Honorable MPs do not and uh, do not take the house seriously. It is part of the narrative that Parliament is not required. Parliament has to be belittled. Yes, yes, yes. And in one state, Assembly, I'm talking of the state of Gujarat, Assembly sittings were reduced to 29 days in a year. Our <laughs> is some similar grand plan of belittling the legislature also on in the national, national Parliament. <coughs> Secondly, sir, why, why did we talk of consultation? It is not only facilities. Look at the building. Look at the grandeur of this building. <coughs> that has lotuses, that has all Indian symbols all around. And you see that triangular building store. You won't get the same gravitas. You won't get the same splendor. There is, at every point of time, an aesthetics has been cast upon us that will be, the aesthetic will, will remain as a permanent memory of poor art. And this has been done by an architect specially chosen by, a, by from Gujarat, who's taking 250 crores, 250 crores for advising on a completely unesthetic building. We come to health, sir, because that is another point that has been repeatedly mentioned. Ayushman Bharat has saved 80,000 crores. I have gone through the entire health expenditure budget and find this is almost 100% of the budget. Where do they make the give these figures from? Where do they obtain? If the officers are misleading them, then let them question, where do you get such figures? You talk of 9,000 Jana uh, uh, Kendras. Sir, one Kendra for 155 lakh people. And you are mentioning that proudly in your report. 155 lakh people will go to one store. Sir, it's for the mark. Please, please conclude now. Sir, one minute more because one minute please more only. Total, the total is our health expenditure total is just 3.6% of the GDP. I couldn't help mentioning. And the Western world has 12 to 19%. China has 5.5%. Mexico has 6%. And we are half. We should hang our heads in collective shame that we have not been able to look after the health sector the way we should have looked after it. So I thank you for the time given. Thank you, Manni Jawar Sarkarji. Honorable NR Elam.